I'm Paul Prinsloo from the University of South Africa, the biggest distance education institution on the African continent, close to 400,000 students. I'm an educational researcher specializing in student retention and success, uh, learning analytics. What are the barriers that Learning Analytics community has overcome the last three years to scaling up? From an African perspective, someone sort of on the margins of the North Atlantic discourses on data, data analytics, big data. So from that marginal perspective, or coming from almost from the outside in, I think the field has become more interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary with other people from other disciplines, sociologists, educationists, possibly even philosophers coming, being, be, becoming part of, of the discussions on the use of student data. So I think that has been a huge move. Possibly at the beginning it was very technical and technicist and very computer science and algorithm driven of people doing the analysis and the analytics. And I think what I sense now, four or five years later, is that it has become much more interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary and possibly intradisciplinary, whatever the differences are. And I think that enriches the discourse immensely. Where do you see learning analytics within a time frame of five years? I think the need for evidence and evidence-based management is just going to increase whether I agree with that or not. I think we also need to understand the need for data and analytics and evidence in the light of a the hegemony of a new liberal discourse and meta-narrative in higher education that, that we cannot think outside of that. And, and I think that necessitates a very, very critical approach to how we see data, our expectations of data, our assumptions about data. So I would like to see in the next five years a much more critical, cynical, uh, possibly a, a much more sober approach to what data can and cannot do. We will need to be very critical. The, 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 the scope of discrimination is just going to get more and bigger as we combine different data sets. So we will have to be very careful. On the other hand, I don't discount the huge potential that it may, with the emphasis on may, may increase our understanding of the complexity of learning and what makes some learners to be more successful than others.